Hello and welcome to my channel, On The Hook Crochet, where we talk about wearable crochet style. And let's find out what's been on the hook today. Well, I, again, as I do every Monday, I hope that you had a wonderful weekend. I had a great weekend, I always do. My grandchildren were here and we enjoyed a couple of days together. And so it's back to work on Monday. So I am in the saddle and ready to talk to you about all things crochet and some other things as well. So I wanted to make a few announcements this morning before I get started. This is Monday the 10th. And so I'm announcing that on Thursday, I will have another video, which I usually do. And Thursday's video will feature a video from Joe for Totes, who has some beautiful project bags to show you. So I'm going to play that on Thursday. I didn't really have time today to give it the full uh, time that it needed. And so on Thursday, I'll be playing that at the end of the video. So be sure to stay tuned for that. On uh, Thursday, we'll also have a reveal, I call it. And it's a new sweater that I've been talking about. It's called the Plain Jane. And I have several Plain Janes in progress. And I want to show you how far I've gotten. I might be able to finish a couple of them by Thursday, but I'll be wearing one and I want to show it to you. So be sure to tune in on Thursday where I reveal that new pattern and what I'm gonna do special with it. So uh, be sure to stay tuned for that. Now on Friday, I will have a video out which will talk about the diamond painting that I have finished. And I showed that on my Instagram page. You might have seen it there, but it's called Meat for Lunch. It's the two giraffes done in primary colors and they're eating an acacia tree, which is in blue, which is, you know, kind of funky color choices by the artist, but they work so beautifully together. And I want to show that to you in detail. So on Friday, I'll have a video for my classic diamond art series and that will be in the series as well so you will get a notification if you're a subscriber to on the hook crochet so don't worry about that don't worry about missing it because had some people say are you on another channel no i'm on still on on the hook but i have a series that i'm talking about some other crafts and one of those is diamond painting i've really enjoyed it i've completed three diamond paintings and maybe friday i might whip through those three or maybe on Thursday. I don't know, but I will show you all three. I've already shown two, but I'll show them all together and see where I've progressed in my learning of this craft. It's such a wonderful craft and I know you would enjoy it if you bought one. The kits are not expensive. You can spend a lot of money on the kits, but they don't have to be. It's according to the size and the quality of the kit, where you buy it. There are a lot of variables there so um, I've got some ideas for you as well so maybe Friday I'll cover that too but on Thursday it will be the Joe video and the uh, reveal for Plain Jane on Friday it will be my diamond painting video and I might slip a paint by number in there somewhere not on that video but it'll be another video so I'm just doing some short videos about other crafts and I hope you'll enjoy watching those and I'll also have a uh, an offer code down in the description box on those videos where if you are interested in buying a kit then you can buy it as I'm an affiliate of Craft Ease now and also I am sponsored by the Paint by Number company who gave me a couple of Paint by Number paintings. So I'm going to give one of those away as I am a diamond painting kit. So on Friday of this week, when I do my video about meat for lunch, my new diamond painting, I will be revealing the giveaway winner for the beautiful diamond painting kit called uh, Floral Fantasy. And I introduced it on another video and I will Put a link to that at the end of this video so you can watch it and sign up for the giveaway. It will be given away on Friday of this week. So be sure you're watching on that video and you can see who won the giveaway. And it might be you. You never know. You always have a chance if you sign up. So be sure to watch that video and sign up for the giveaway. I would like to thank Donna from South Carolina. You know who you are. You sent me this beautiful note. Look at the pretty front on that. It's a note of thanks. But Donna has said in the note that, um, among other things, she said that she's made 12 of my sweaters. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. 
I'm in shock, but there are people who have bought a lot of my sweaters, but she's actually made 12 of my sweaters. And what she says about the sweaters is that they actually fit. Every one of them fits me perfectly, she says. Now, that's just a, a little window into what you can do with a, with a pattern that is not sized. Now, I know most pattern designers actually size their patterns, but I do not do that you actually size the pattern to yourself. So I just want you to know that when you make one of the sweaters that I design, it will fit you. If you make it like it says, it will fit you. It is not sized. So if you're asking me if it comes in a size um, extra small or if it comes in a 2X or 3X or 4X even, no, it comes in your size. So I just want to be sure you understand that. That's why I can um, publish patterns a lot faster than anybody else because I don't size them. They are sized strictly to your measurements and I design the sweater so that it will fit you using your measurements. So just wanted to leave you that um, little thought from Donna. She sent me the sweetest note and it said a lot of other things too and I appreciate it Donna. Very very nice note and thank you so much. And right now I want you to see what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Summer Essentials which I designed last year this time and I love this sweater. I've worn it a lot. I must say that I did block this sweater because it's made from Audine Wools by Knit Crate and it was the um, Knit Crate that came out in which Glenda of Creative Grandma had sponsored the colors and she had picked out the colors for Knit Crate to choose and one of them was this pink, one of them was blue that I made the sea and sky pullover from and there's some other Audine Wools up there too that I'm working with. <laughs> So I really love this particular um, style of yarn. It is a fingering weight, but it's also a little tiny bit fluffy. So it fills in the holes. You don't have to work so terribly hard to crochet it. Now this, I'm not wearing a tank top under it and it covers just fine. So it's perfect for summer and for a little bit of a cool day in the summer like today. It's just going to be in the upper 60s here so it's perfect weather for that. It's also wool so it's warm and it keeps my core warm but it also frees up my arms so that I can move around and do work so I can crochet so I can do other things. So I really enjoyed designing the sweater and making it as well and wearing it as well. So let me show you some of the details of this particular particular pattern. And here again, here's the pattern as it appears on Etsy. It's called Summer Essential. I'll get up close and show you the ribbing on the sleeves is a three, three stitch ribbing and you'll see that as you look at the pattern. There's, it's also mirrored on the neckline which I love. This is a perfect neckline for me. Now yours may be different but I like this lower neckline for summer and it's not quite as high up in the back so it keeps me nice and cool but it's also warm enough for on a cool day you can stay warm. Now um, along the bottom is also a very beautiful rib and I'll try to get this up here where you can see it. It's a three stitch rib as well and I designed this to match uh, around the sweater so when I finish the sweater I mimicked that rib on the sleeve and on the neckline. This is a very boxy fit, very boxy, and I'll hold my arms out so you can see that. This was my first boxy sweater. It's not as wide as the sunlit tee that I just came out with this year, so I've gone boxy crazy. But this is my first attempt at a kind of a boxy look for summer, and I really, really like it. So, um, I, I wanted to show this to you because it's very easy to make. It's not difficult to make, but it takes a little bit of time. So if you buy some really nice yarn, you can enjoy working through the project. Or if you just want to buy something from a big box store that is a size 2 or fingering weight and uh, make your first run with that and then buy a really nice yarn and make your second run. Or you can go all out and just buy the really nice yarn. Um, a lot of fingering yarns are considered sock yarns and you can grab some sock yarn from a big box store or you can also order uh, sock yarn on Knit Crate or anywhere else not sponsored but you can do that and that way you'll have the right uh, yarn for this particular sweater. Now as in all my sweaters that I design you can make it from any size yarn you want because we're using measurements 
to fit the sweater. So if you have a larger yarn, you can fit the sweater using the measurements and choose a, a larger yarn and a larger hook. You can do whatever you want. I think the pattern states that I had 12 inches of ease. I think it's a little more than that. And it also depends on how much you weigh the next year. If you weigh less or more, then the sweater may fit a little different, but more than likely, you're not going to outgrow a boxy sweater because you're already making it quite large from, I'd say about a thousand yards of a sport weight, which is what this was considered, but I call it a fingering. It was very small sport weight. So uh, again, you have to just crochet your first few rows and see if you think you'll have enough yarn. And you can do that by measuring and then seeing how much yarn you used and just compare it. Say, you know, how many rows can I get out of the particular a hank of yarn or a particular skein of yarn. I didn't know how much yarn I would need for this particular sweater. I think I used four hanks of yarn and all the way down to the, you know, the end. And also, uh, I'll try to find the video for the Summer Essential and put it in the description box so you can find it there. Um, I did do a, a whole video on this particular sweater, so I won't go into any more detail on that. That's all about what I'm wearing today. Today I promised to unbox the knit crate that just came in the mail, I guess it was Saturday, and decided to see this. This is the petal issue, and I had watched the knit crate reveal, I think they call it, and there's a young lady there who explains all about the colors that are in the particular box. It tells all about the yarn and that might be in my box, <laughs> or the one that I've chosen. And I think I actually chose this one, so I'll show it to you in a second. A couple of the, um, there are a couple of stickers in here that came in the box, so I thought I would just paper clip those onto the book so I didn't lose them, but that's the extra that came in the box. I don't look forward to those too much because they're, they're all over the place. I got a measuring tape last month, which has been very wonderful. The stickers are good for something, I'm sure. Now, as moving through this, it shows all the different yarns. These are the patterns that are offered in the book, and they, they did send me a book because I wanted a book. I don't want to have to go online and look up the pattern, so I did that. Now, these are the, the all the different colors that were in the, what they call now the Knit and Crochet Club that used to be the Knit Club, but it's not. It's Knit Crate Box, but it also has crochet patterns. So they're finally recognizing us crocheters, and I'm really excited about that. Thank you, Knit Crate, for doing that. This side shows the yarns that are offered in the sock crate, and that's a different crate. I don't get that crate because I don't make socks. But, you know, some of their yarns in the sock crate are actually very gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. Now, for the patterns, this is the pattern for the knit and crochet crate. And it's a beautiful knitted pattern. If you're, The crochet pattern is a bag, which is very beautiful. And right now, I'm going to show you the yarn that I, that I was, that I actually, I think I selected it. This is called Goldenrod. This is Audine Wool's Bloom, and that's the, the tag on there, but it's a beautiful uh, alpaca wool, and it's 80% alpaca wool and 10% silk. Very nice. 10% camel. It's a DK weight, so there are 231 yards on the hank. I can find a lot of other things I want to make besides a bag out of this. I don't want to make a bag out of this. This is too beautiful. This is quite gorgeous. It's a chain, a chain yarn, so it's not wound so much as it is in a chain form. So it won't split. It's 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 going to be strong, and that's probably why they crocheted a bag out of this. But they also knitted a shawl, so it can be made into a beautiful garment. I I love it. I think it's really nice. It's really not a summer yarn for me because it's wool and camel, and there's a tiny bit of silk in there, but it's mostly wool. So you'd have to need something um, for cool nights, cool days, maybe into the fall. This is a beautiful fall color, and I might save it back until fall. I've got another couple of hanks up there from last month that I'll probably be saving back. But there were two hanks of the goldenrod in my box so excited to get those. They are gorgeous, and I will be making something from this. 
And I've also considered maybe buying a couple of more hanks so that I'll have enough for a little sweater for fall and that will work out great. So <clears throat> I'll probably do that. But that is the Knit Crate unboxing for May. This month's crochet surprise is a surprise. I was very surprised when I saw it. I opened it up and I thought, that is such a great project. Now, if you're an adventurous crocheter, and you don't really have to be, you can be a beginning crocheter. I looked at the pattern, it's very much a beginner's pattern, it's just long. But this is what you'll be making, a fedora hat. This is what I like about Crochet Surprise. They have the cutest ideas. They're always crochet, of course, because it's Crochet Surprise. You're not sharing with the knitters, but it's strictly for crochet. And I love their presentation. It comes in a box. They've never asked me to receive it in a bag. It's in a box, which I like. It comes with a very nice card, an open card with the pattern inside. Very beautiful on the back. It tells you about the tea that is enclosed. They always place a really nice bag of loose tea in here. This, this month it's Jasmine Pearl Black Wolf. And my guess is that it's a black tea. Let me check that. Chocolate and berry notes sweetened with honey bush and vanilla. I don't know what that tastes like, but it's probably really good. This is the Jasmine Pearl um, brand of tea they always put in their box. Such a treat to get. You know what's coming, but you don't know what's coming. This is what's exciting about Crochet Surprise. I love this brand. I think they've done a really nice job with it. They're pairing with wonderful yarn suppliers, and they include very high quality yarn in their box. So I'm just thrilled that they've asked me to represent their brand. In the description box is a way to get a discount on your first box. It's just a really nice box to receive in the, in the mail. Before I was sponsored by Crochet Surprise, I was a Crochet Surprise member, and I enjoyed getting those boxes every single month. I was so excited, and every month it's something different. It's not the same old thing over and over. So I, I wanted to show this to you today because it's um, what I've uh, agreed with Crochet Surprise to do is to show you what's in the box and uh, do a giveaway and give the box away to one of my subscribers and I'm very very happy to do that and I thank them for trusting me with their brand. I just think that is the cutest thing. I've looked at the pattern and it looks very easy to make and also in the box they've included some wire that you would include in your crochet and you crochet around the wire and it keeps the brim nice and straight. So this is the wire that comes in the package. And it tells you in there how to use it. It's not hard to do. It's very interesting the way it's made. And in the box also is the yarn. And the yarn is Rewind Tape Yarn by Yalion Brand. And I have used this. I have done things with this. And it is Mahogany Rose, the most beautiful color I can imagine. For a hat. It is so gorgeous for a summer hat in the fedora style. Very fancy, not a long brim hat, but it's a stand-up brim hat and again it's a fedora hat. I love that idea. And they're using the Rewind Tape Yarn again from Lion Brand. This is what they're using and they've included two skeins, which I'm sure is ample to make the hat. So that's what's in the crochet surprise this month. I'm excited. So what we're going to do is have a giveaway. And for um, two weeks, I'm going to have you all sign up. Because next week, I think I'm going to be gone off and on again. And I can't promise a video. So the week of the May 17th, I will not be producing videos. I will still be working. And you can follow me on Instagram. And that's where I'll be showing what I'm doing. But... The following Monday, we will have the giveaway winner announced for the Crochet Surprise box. So drop down in the comments box and put a comment in there with using the word HAT, H-A-T, and that's what we're giving away. So be sure to go down into the description box and write the word HAT in your comment. And you can comment about anything you want, but be sure to use the word HAT. And you'll be in the running for the giveaway on May 24th. Last week I talked about the Expression Fiber Arts yarn that I'm giving away this week. There will be two hanks of, whoa, <laughs> there will be two hanks 
of this yarn given away. This is the Mallard Colorway. I'll hold it up here so you can see it. This is the Mallard Colorway, and it's Twisted Tweed Sport by Chandy at Expression Fiber Arts. A beautiful color, but I know I won't be using this. This is just, um, I've got so much yarn, I want to give some of it away. So this is 42% fine merino wool, 43% superwash merino wool, 15% donegal wool. So that is the tweed in there. So gorgeous. Let me turn that around. These are the prettiest colors. Now this is the loose hank that I didn't know how to wrap up. This is how it actually came to me. <laughs> Perfectly wrapped. I haven't unwrapped this one, but I did do this one. And I wanted to show you the beauty, uh, beautiful colors in there. So there they are. I'm going to choose a winner today using the random comment picker and we will give this yarn away to a, a lucky subscriber. So that will be our giveaway winner number one. Now I said I was going to add something to this and I did. I decided to give away the Shawl and Ball Fab which is ample yarn to make one of my patterns and I'm going to include a pattern with this. This is 459 yards on the on the skein so you have plenty to make the um, pattern that I'm giving you. 40% cotton, 30% poly, 20% acrylic, and 10% wool. Now this is Shawl in the Ball Fab. This is not the regular Shawl in the Ball. This is a size 4 that actually looks and behaves like a size 4. It is not a tiny little yarn. It's a good size yarn. It's a 4. It's probably not a fat 4. It's a um, uh, you know, it's not a, a huge yarn, but it is a size four and it's all one um, size. So you don't have that in and out like you do the shawl and the ball. It's a little bit different. This has a small bit of halo on it. It's very, very, very soft and I really liked it, but I probably won't be making this. And this is a beautiful color. The colorway here is Satyrs, S-A-T-Y-R-S. -S. It's, it's a, a mythological character. But anyway, that's what I'm giving away, this ball of yarn. And I'm also giving away the Sunrise Shawlette pattern. And I'm going to, I've am going i already printed it off, and it'll come in the package with your Shawl and the Ball Fab yarn. So um, this is... Um, a very easy shawl to make. It's not huge, but you can make it as large as you want. It's very delicate, and that's where I thought shawl on the ball would be very nicely made up with this. I created the prototype with a mohair yarn. It was a size one or two, very, very small, but I used kind of a large hook, so it ended up being very delicate, very beautiful, and it was kind of a multicolor, just like this shawl on the ball. So. I think this would be perfect made up with this shawl on the ball. So I'm giving that away to give away winner number two. So let's turn our camera to the computer and find out who wins these two giveaways this week. Here we are at the computer. This is the URL from last Monday. And here is the keyword, which was fiber. And that came from the Expression Fiber Arts tag that I saw on the yarn. So we just used the word fiber. Now, let's find out how many uh, YouTube comments we had with that particular word in them on that particular video. And that's how we do our giveaways around here. So let me scroll down here. There were 370 people. So that's about right. Y'all are uh, very consistent. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, let's find out who wins the Expression Fiber Arts yarn. And that would be Leanne Stearns. Leanne Th Stearns there is her word fiber right there so she is the winner of the expression fiber arts yarn congratulations so let's go down here leanne stearns don't forget to be sure to write me and give me your address all right here's another winner this is the winner of the shawl at pattern and the shawl on the ball yarn and that's azorian lady armanda <laughs> armanda Azorian Lady Armanda. I guess that's how you pronounce it. All right, well, this is her word fiber in the uh, comments. So she is the winner of the um, Sunrise Shawlette pattern and the Shawl in the Ball yarn. Congratulations to both winners of the yarn and the yarn in the pattern. 
Y'all, I'm excited. I'm so glad I could find that yarn and apply it to the pattern of my choice because that will make up beautifully with the actual uh, pattern that I've got here. The, the shawl and the ball is it's really nice. I like that. I like that yarn. So I hope you do too as well. Now, let's talk about next video. The next video will be Thursday and that will be with the uh, Joe from Joe for Totes and her video will be included in that and also some other things and very important fun things that we're going to do about the Plain Jane tea and that is a reveal for that pattern on Thursday so be sure to watch for that. I will be wearing the Plain Jane tea and we'll roll out the pattern at that point so uh, be sure to be watching on Thursday and I have some other videos mixed in so um, just know that next week I will be only on Instagram and then the following week on the 24th I will be back with lots of things to talk about so be sure to join me on Thursday when we find out what's on the hook.